Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the sea. We have returned, and boy, have I been busy. Um, I think probably for like the last hour. Um, I've actually had some time, and I've actually been doing things. As you can see, we've got some industrial hemp uh, right here. Uh, if I cop one in here, I managed to bone meal some grass and get some industrial hemp seeds. So we got a load of those now because I have been growing hemp like you wouldn't believe. Well, you probably would believe, but I've been growing loads of hemp and I'm coming near to the amount of hemp we need to make the windmill to complete the quest. So uh, that's going to be first thing on the agenda today, providing I have enough bone meal to complete uh, what I want to do. Because that's basically, that's, that's part of what I've been doing. Once I got the seeds, I figured, you know what, I've got loads of bone meal. I'm just going to use a load of it, and uh, use a load of it, and bone meal myself up a whole bunch of hemp, so that I can complete this quest that I've been trying to do since the beginning, pretty much, but as you can see, the canola farm is growing steadily. Um, I have found that uh, if I have the canola press directly next to this generator, it does, in fact, feed into it. I think we figured that out last episode, but I'm going to reiterate that, which is why it's over here. So what I've been doing is filling it up because um, I can fill this up to exactly 2,000 uh, with an even amount of canola. Um, filling it up, taking the canola out via bucket, via bucket, and then just picking it up, putting it back here, draining power off, which I don't have any in here right now, um, and then putting it back here. But that's pretty much what I've been up to. You grew on your own. Fantastic. So that's something I have been doing, um, and at the moment we're going to see if I can acquire enough hemp. I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm going to be a little bit short. Uh, oh, I am, yep, I'm a stack short, it looks like. Um, yep, I need to get one more stack after these, and then I will have enough hemp to make the wind turbine. Um, so I've been doing that. I've also been uh, sifting through sand in the hopes to get a spore and for a mushroom. And actually, uh, if I come down here, we can see that I have a mushroom. Um, I got a spore. Thank you for telling me um, in the comments that I need to sift through sand and get a spore because the witch water thing apparently doesn't work in this version, um, which is pretty unfortunate but I have a mushroom um, it is down here I'm waiting to grow another one before we actually do something there so that's been uh, sitting there taking letting time pass um, so yeah basically what I've been doing is just um, a bunch of these uh, menial intermediary steps um, resource gathering and the like uh, which isn't a bad thing to be doing. I definitely need to do more of it, but I logged on and I was like, you know, I don't really know what to record right now, so I'm just going to uh, do the in-between stuff I keep meaning to do um, and keep not doing. So we are going to, so right now, uh, I want to, I really want to finish up this hemp. There is a compressed zombie uh, outside somewhere or down in the mines. That's uh, that's not something I really want to deal with right now. I fought a compressed blaze before, and they are n and they're not to the funnest things to deal with. So, come on, just bone meal up. There we go. I can hear him through the walls, and that's not good. All right, we are halfway there. All right, just bone meal that. Um, let's see, breaking those without bone mealing is not gonna get me any. Uh, we got one more of those uh, lar. We got some more of those large um 
bone blocks of compressed bone meal we can break out. Oh, we don't. Never mind. I used the last one. Oopsie. Well, I have also been sifting through sand. Or sifting through dust. Uh, we got a little bit more bone meal. Awesome. Why don't you go ahead and just smash up this other stack of sand? Huh? Why don't you just do that? Thanks. Doop, doop, doop. I'm really bad. I keep... I, f I found that shortcut and I've just been using it. It's a bad thing. Don't make shortcuts in your base that you want to use properly because... Um, you'll just always start, you'll always start using the shortcuts until you fix them. It's a true fact. Um, almost. So you know what we could do? Instead of bone mealing, we're going to try and break these. And we have enough. Fantastic. So I'll just replant these. We shouldn't need much more hemp. But I am going to grow at least a little bit more. Um, but yes, now I can complete the windmill quest and we can move on to completing the gathering a load of power stuff quests and just unlock a load more. Um, so, I think just we need to turn these into sticks and then we put the hemp around and this will create our, um, our tough fabric, which we need. Then, um, do I need... Okay, so I need wooden... Um, I need wooden blades, so treated wood and treated sticks. So we have some treated wood down here. I need to make four of those. No, I need to make eight of those. Because I need to make eight of these. So we need eight. I don't think we have enough treated wood. That's going to be a no. So we're going to have to go upstairs. Luckily, the coal coat generator is still generating plus we have a crap load of creosote oil up here anyway so I don't even have to take out of the furnace but I'm going to anyway just to make it keep running alright so uh, let's just go ahead and just turn use this creosote oil on all of this wood because why not there we go alright so we need eight we're going to need more wood, actually. Um, how much more? And we'll just take all of these. Any I don't use, we can put back. Or we can um, use on something else. So that's that. That's 16. Four. I think I'm going to need at least eight more. Uh, we could use the stuff downstairs, but I don't want to deal with that right now. All right. So... Um, so that, hey, look, I got exactly the right amount. Fantastic. All right. So there's eight. So we put those in, put these in. There's our eight windmills. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and shove you there. And you know what? We'll get two more and fill up that barrel. Why not? There we go. All right. So here are 10 improved windmill blades. And now we come down here. We grab one steel, and now we can create our improved windmill. Ta-da! And that has completed the quest. Get a reward bag, get another windmill, get another kinetic dynamo, neither of which we really need. Only a basic reward bag. What do we get? Another puffy scarf. That's something that I definitely need. I don't want any more of these. Come on, just give me something more useful. Does this turn into string? It does. Three can turn into string. So that's something hemp can be used for, is we can make string out of it. Okay. So there's that. Um, the windmills will probably not get used. Um, what? Not using windmills when you're underwater? That's crazy. No, it's not. Um... Kinetic dynamo we don't need right now. So that can stay in there. So, um, I know, now that we've done that, and I've completed a quest and done something, uh, let me explain why I did that and did not make the slice and splice like I said I was going to last episode. There's a very good reason for that. Allow me to show you what that reason is. 
That reason is because if I click on the slice and splice, we need Elementium tools. This I did not know last episode, um, because I had not looked. Uh, the soul binder we might be able to make, and actually we probably could make the soul binder. Except, yeah, you know what? We could probably we can make the soul binder. We'll make the soul binder. Um, but the slice and splice needs elementium tools, which are from Botania. Which, in order to get elementium, you have to make a elven portal. And I am nowhere near that for Botania right now. I have not put the work into Botania that I apparently am supposed to for this mob, for this quest book. But we have a creeper head up there, which means we actually do have everything we need for uh, this soul binder. So I think we are going to go ahead and make that now. Look at that. We can do something I said we we're going to do last episode. We need those to make the sol solarium. Solarium. We need Enderman head. Um, we're going to need a zombie head. We're going to need a creeper head. And we are going to need a skeleton head. And we've got the Enderman head there. And then we are going to need to make a uh, iron casing, which is a load of steel. So two and four. And the burnt quartz is down here already. All right. So we will run down here. We'll go ahead and throw the steel in. All right, making plates, good. Should check that first. Uh, come over here. Or we can make those. Turn that into solarium. Solarium. You can see I've also I've finished my walkway coming down here and started making a way out there, and I want to make a way in there, but it's a little irksome sometimes having to go through everything. I don't know. I'll figure some way out to get around. That's for sure. Uh, burnt quartz give. So burnt quartz. Uh, Steel plates and steel rods, iron casing, enderman head, um, skeleton, creeper, zombie. <laughs> the heads don't show up. How about that? How about that? It's almost like they're not, they don't have a texture that Tinker's Construct works with. We got two of it. We need more solarium. So Solarium. Solarium? Solarium? Something. Solarium. Solarium. I'm going to say it both ways multiple times. I can guarantee it. Um, but yeah. There we go. That's three. One more. And then we can make our soul binder. And that is actually going to give us either a sentient ender or a Frank Z zombie. Um, slice and splice has Frank has Z logic controller or skeletal controller. Um, the auto farm. What did that need? Because we can skip a process if we just get one as a reward. Farming station needs the Z logic controller, and I get one of those from here. So. We might take the sentient ender, because I think Franken Z Frank and Zombie might be easier to make. We should check those before we do anything. So Franken Zombie requires a soul of a zombie um, to go into a Z Logic controller. So that's um, pretty good. A sentient Enderman requires a witch soul to go into an Enderman. These require an Enderman head. These require a zombie head, so yeah, these ones are easier to make, so we are going to go ahead and get the Enderman one for our reward. There's our Solarium. Let's go ahead and make our Soul Binder. And we are going to take the Sentient Enderman. Thank you very much. Completed. Fantastic. We have a Sentient Enderman head. Get a greater reward bag, which is... Var M3L's head. Well, Var M3L, you are going to go on the wall of heads, which I think I might relocate to upstairs, along with the wall to near where the wall of Snurf Niblin is.
because this is starting to get ridiculous. Um, well, that was, um, I actually hadn't looked at the soul binder, so the fact that we were able to do that is pretty nice, um, in my opinion. Uh, I honestly wasn't expecting to be able to make either of them, but since we were able to make one of them, I am, uh, happy. I'm a happy little duck. Alright, so there goes that. We are getting more mana, which is fantastic. I still do need to set up automation and for mana and just figure out all this stuff. I just haven't. I haven't been in the mood to work with Batania. I, I'm, I'm more enjoying the machines right now, at least in this series. Um, so that completes soul binding. Basic wiring, we need a transformer and 12 LV coils. Um which should be pretty easy to do. I think we probably already have 12 low-V coils. I'll just have to um, break them if I want to get them that way, which we could do. Um, what about the transformer? Let's go to at immersive engineering. What is the a transformer requires MV conduits, LV conduits, electrum coil block, and iron. The electrum coil block is MV wire coil, and iron MV wire coil is electrum wire. Um, and that's just electrum. We could do that. I think we could definitely do that. I've got three. Um, you get two at a time, and you need four per wire, but you get four wires out of it. So, um, it's just literally eight. No, four. Four electrum, because you get two out of each, and that makes eight wires. Yeah, okay. Um, so I can do that. I just need literally just one more um, electrum. Uh, can I use this in the alloy smelter? I can. Awesome. Let's go ahead and throw these in the alloy smelter, and we can at least start on working towards a transformer and that stuff. Because why not? There is a creeper spawning up there, so I'm going to have to light that up better. I'm also... I also do need a better weapon. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up! Bugger me. Well, at least he didn't do any damage majorly. He just blew up a chest. Um, and it looks like I lost the steel plates, but that's fine. That's not a big deal. Switch those out. Um, oh, there they are. Put those in there. Uh, put those in there. And we'll make a storage crate to go in the end, as opposed to a chest. Because storage crates! And it spat them out. There we go. Just shove those in there for now. Uh, grab those. Oh wait. Nope. Yep. I'm still right. I keep I keep second guessing myself, but I'm pretty sure I'm still right. I could be wrong though. Um. I think we're gonna need more for the uh for wire connectors anyway. Um, but let's just make sure I'm right here. This should get us eight, and it does. Yep, I was right. And then if I put those around iron, that gets me that. Um, the medium is iron and that. That's easy. Um, and iron, we actually can do this uh, if I make some uh, medium connector. So let me run up um, and grab, hopefully I have some clay up here. It's not going to be cooked yet, but we have enough. All right, so for the last thing this episode, we can make the um, the transformer, uh, which is used for upgrading um, low to medium voltage, which will be nice. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to rework the wires and everything yet, but what I think is going to happen is I'm going to break all the wires, complete this quest, and then mess around with my wiring a little bit. I actually need a second crafting table down here because I'm using that station. Derp. Nope, come on. Just, there we go. All right, we'll put you there. We'll make the MV there. 
and then we put MV and LV. That's not LV. That is transformer. And so uh, in between episodes, I'll break down uh, 12, a bunch of our wires, um, complete that quest so that I can turn in this. Um, I may turn, I think I'll probably just turn it in once I take down all the wires because it's just wires and a reward bag. I'll just wait to open the reward bag on camera. Um, and then next episode, uh, we can work on progressing more. Hopefully, um, I'll have some more mushrooms and we can go ahead and uh, get some more Batania done. That would be ideal, but um, it's hard to say. So anyway, guys, uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching and uh, hope you all are enjoying the series still and will continue to watch. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Till then, guys. Bye-bye.